There is one thing, one thing that actually completely changed my trajectory in network engineering. And it's not a certification, it's not a bootcamp, and it's not some secret tool that no one knows about. It's something way simpler than that, but almost nobody actually does it. And when I started doing this, it consistently shifted everything. I went from struggling to get interviews to having recruiters reach out to me. I went from feeling like an imposter to actually feeling confident in my skills. So if you're stuck right now, and if you're studying and you're not seeing any results, or if you're applying but not getting any callbacks, this video might be the wake-up call that you need. Let me show you what changed everything for me. So the number one thing that's going to change everything for you to become a network engineer is to think like an engineer not a student. And this may sound riveting or, or surprising, but yes, you need to think like an engineer. A lot of times I talk to people, they're spending all their time studying. They're spending all their time studying. As a network engineer, yes, we do have to learn stuff, but 10% of our time is studying. 90% of our time is engineering, talking, planning, designing, implementing. There's a lot of different things that we do as a network engineer, troubleshooting. <laughs> I mean, there's so many, right? But the big thing I want you guys to know is we have to focus on acting like you're an engineer. If you want to get hired as an engineer, you have to think like one. But how do I think like an engineer, you may be asking. First of all, there's multiple ways of doing this. Number one way is to find another network engineer or an engineer uh, that's close to you and ask for help and ask what they do on the job and see how they think. Because network engineers think logically. They think, how can I solve this problem as quickly as possible in the most efficient way possible and the most correct way possible? That's what we do as a network engineer. And you should spend all your time focusing on that. Don't think like a student. Don't think I'm going to take all these certifications, get more degrees, more studying, more lab, more memorizing, more this, more that. That comes and goes. As a network engineer, we spend a lot of our times actually troubleshooting, number one. We troubleshoot, 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 troubleshoot. And I'm pretty sure, and I've spoken with a lot of individuals who want to become network engineers, who are saying they want to do this, who want to do that, and they have never troubleshooted ever in their life. And I asked them like, wait, you haven't even troubleshooted once ever? That's what I do 70% of my job. You want to become a network engineer. It's like it's like telling a professional base basketball player, like, hey, I want to be a basketball player, but, I'm, but I've never shot a basketball before. Of course, with basketball, like you dribble the ball, you pass the ball, you run around the court, whatever, play defense, you still shoot the ball and you don't even, you haven't done one of the most important things in basketball, which is shooting. As a network engineer, our shooting is troubleshooting, no pun intended, but we do that all the time. We do that time as a network engineer, but if you don't spend that time learning, implementing, doing those things a network engineer does, you're not going to think like an engineer. You're going to be wasting time after time after time, year after year after year, being this, the student mind. The student mind is how many certs can I get? How many books can I read? How many things can I learn? Not how many things can I do? How many changes can I make on a network? How can I logically fix this particular issue? That's what you need to be thinking as a network engineer. You need to be spending a lot of your time thinking like that. Because here's the thing. Memorizing does not work as a network engineer. As a network engineer, we're not out here memorizing how, what the OSI model is. We're implementing the OSI model. And that's what you need to be spending a lot of your time on. And I know a lot of people, they think, they think, they think, they think, I'm going to learn this, I'm going to learn that, and this is going to help me become a network engineer. I'm going to be honest with you guys. What's going to help you become a network engineer is obviously doing the things a network engineer does. Because you have access to AI and you have access to Google on the job. We're not out here memorizing everything. If you tell me certain questions, I may not know. You guys may know more than me. You guys may be encyclopedia of networking. But as a network engineer, being an encyclopedia of networking is not, is not good. You need to be an engineer. You need to have the right mindset, the right mindset of an engineer of how to implement changes on the network, how to design, how to think, how to speak like a network engineer. A lot of the times in networking, we're speaking, we're talking to vendors, we're talking to customers, we're saying things that need to be said, we're explaining things to non-technical people. If we're explaining things to non-technical people, we have to let them know what the issue is and, and, and how what the gravity of the issue is, how big of an issue it is. You're speaking to people, right? For example, in my office right here, um, I, I needed my internet fix and I had a fiber guy come over here and we we're just chopping it up about stuff. And he thought I wasn't like, he wasn't, I, he thought I wasn't like a technical network engineer. And he was talking to me about like, yeah, we're using this, we're using that. And I was like, huh, he, he knows how to speak the language to someone who's non-technical. Obviously I understand everything he's saying, but he's, he's dumbing it down for me. He's like, oh, this is like, you know, this connects, this is like, fiber that like connects whatever like he didn't go into the weeds of it right he didn't say this is like multi-mode fiber this is not like single mode fiber we, we don't talk that language to non-technical people because it's nonsensical and as an engineer you have to think like that mindset because when you go into the interviews and he ask you questions about this kind of stuff you have to have an answer like that very mission critical for you guys this is how everything changes by the way when you focus on thinking like an engineer you go from 
okay, I'm going to memorize all these test questions to actually doing the things that, that a network engineer does. In turn, you're going to have this mindset. And then when you go into an interview, by the way, every network engineering job has to go through an interview. You don't want to take a multiple choice exam to, to, to get become a network engineer. Haven't seen that before. You have to talk. You have to speak. You have to explain your technical concepts. You have to be able to speak like an engineer because they're going to sense that you're a student and not an engineer. And as soon as they sense that, guys, as soon as they sense that, they're gonna be like, this person's not a network engineer, forget it. Like, we're not gonna hire this individual, he has no experience. You may, and you may be saying, I don't have experience, like, please hire me, like I'm a student. Companies don't hire people like this anymore. We're not living in 2005. Stop thinking like a student. Stop thinking like a student, think like an engineer. Talk to engineers, speak with engineers, and soon fake it till you make it until you become a network engineer. There's no other, that, that's, going, that's where everything clicks. As soon as you go from Student to engineer, everything is going to be simple. You're going to have the right mindset. You're going to have the right motivation. You're going to be ready to go. You're not going to be complaining as much. You're not going to be spending your time getting certification after certification after certification. You're actually going to be doing the work. And that's what I recommend. Reach out to network engineers. If you need help, there's, there's a LinkedIn description. Message me there on LinkedIn or Instagram if you need help. It's that simple. It's that simple, guys. Why are we overcomplicating things? We like to overcomplicate things. We like to learn things. And here's the thing. When you're a student, when you're a student instead of an engineer, you're going to be learning. And the worst part about learning is you're going to forget when you don't use it. When you forget, that's as good as useless time. Yes, you learned a little bit about it, but now it's for all forgotten because you memorized it because on the job, you don't have to memorize. And that's what, always what I tell people. Just don't spend your time memorizing, spend your time doing. I promise you, once you do that, everything is going to, your life's going to change dramatically. You're going to get offer letters. You're going to be seen as an expert. You're going to be doing better at the interviews. You're going to be passing your interviews. You're going to be doing well on the job. That's it. It's literally that. And I can't say this anymore. This is, this is the thing that I notice with people is they spend all their time learning and they don't implement anything. And I'm tired of it. If you guys are serious, if you guys are hundred percent serious, you would actually take action on this information. But that's all I want to say. I want to say, you know, thank you guys for, for listening to this. It really means a lot. So, so that's it. That's the one thing that changed everything for me. Now I know it sounds simple, but simple doesn't mean easy. The execution is the most important part that people would usually just fall off on. And if you're someone who needs the extra push, who wants the guidance on exactly how to implement this system and build a real momentum in your career, that's exactly what's part of my mentorship program where I show people how to land a six-figure network engineering job in the simplest possible way. It's designed to take you from stuck to landing a job as a network engineer. And if that sounds like something that you want, go ahead and click the link down below and I can show you some more information about that. But with that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. It really means the world to me for all you guys who are watching. If you guys stay to the end, you guys are actually serious. So go ahead and crush it. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, go ahead and click the subscribe button. With that being said, everyone, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.